Hi, I'm Claude from Wilderness Skills. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the small uh, backpack I'm wearing. It's a uh, Sparrow 20 from the Polish company WeSport. The backpack holds 20 liters. Um, it is made from uh, 500 denier Kodura in this color, and there's uh, a bunch of other colors you can you can get this uh, this day pack in. Um, the only difference uh, is the WZ93 uh, camouflage type pattern. It's the, the Polish pattern. Uh, the bag um, is made of a thousand denier uh, Kodura in, in that version, but the rest of them is a uh, 500 denier Kodura. The weight is only 850 grams in this model here. The measurements, well height is 40 centimeters, depth is 20 centimeters and width is 30 centimeters. And the day pack here is made in cooperation with the Polish Defense Forces and there is a five years warranty on this day pack. Let's um, take a look at uh, some of the details. Well, if we start here on the top, there is a carrying handle made out of uh, a, just a strap of uh, webbing. No uh, frills or anything, um, it's just a plain webbing. Um, I like the size uh, and the, uh, um, the way it feels when, when I lift uh, the small pack. It is a small pack, so uh, I find this, uh, this carrying handle really um, effective. Then we meet the, the first uh, zipper, covered by a storm flap. It's a two-way zipper, large, uh, dim dimensioned uh, to its function, and it has uh, a couple of uh, strings attached, so uh, you can use them uh, with gloves on. The next zipper is uh, to the uh, smaller outer compartment. Again, uh, the zipper is uh, dimensioned to its function, and again there is uh, two uh, zipper pulls, uh, with these uh, strings here. Then we reach uh, the front of the pack. Um, here we have a Velcro estate area where you can put uh, flags, morale patches, whatever you want. The next thing uh, we hit is uh, the two small compression straps. Um, those you can expand a little and then there will be room for, for something uh, smaller to, to put on the front of the bag. Then we have uh, three rows of uh, PELS webbing where you can put your uh, mullet compatible uh, bags and pouches on. Going uh, further down, um, we have uh, four D-rings, two here in the front and uh, two uh, all the way in the back. Here you can uh, put a couple of uh, webbing straps so you can place your sleeping bag or your baby sack or a tent underneath. There is also two uh, rows of uh, pelts webbing here in the bottom. So now we cover the, the top, the front and the bottom. Let's see the back. Up here in the top there is an exit port for your drinking system, uh, which is covered by a small piece uh, of, uh, of Kodura. Uh, what I noticed is that when I move around with the backpack, sometimes this Kodura loosens and, and then there is access for rainwater directly into the back here. So, um, I think the company should maybe look at uh, extending this uh, piece of uh, Kodura a little bit. Um, but I think it's a really nice idea that you're covering up uh, the, uh, the hole and uh, this actually prevents uh, rainwater in, the, in entering the pack uh, when it works. Looking on the back here, well, um, there is no uh, frame or anything uh, in, inside the, the backpack. Um, there is uh, the padding, uh, and this actually is a uh, is a hard type of uh, padding, and the rigidity of uh, the pack is actually made of these uh, cushions, which is made out of uh, polyurethane, um, which is uh, really nice. And you can also see the, the two channels coming down here and going up uh, up your spine, that actually help with the airflow. And then you have all the areas covering uh, or touching your body is uh, covered with the uh, air mesh. The same goes uh, with the two uh, carrying straps. If we look at the carrying straps, well, uh, there is no possible uh, means of adjusting the carrying straps here up on top of the shoulders. 
they are fixed uh, permanently here. Uh, there is a piece of webbing going all the way down and there are a couple of openings here where you can place uh, carabiners or grimlocks. And then on the way down here we reach the, uh, the first of uh, these uh, small uh, plastic bands uh, where you can uh, attach your uh, drinking hose. The next uh, down here is a piece of webbing um, with the WeSpot logo on. Again you can just have your hose going uh, in the back here. Then we reach the, the sternum strap, really long uh, sternum strap. Um, again if you're wearing Kevlar you can have this on. Uh, on the, the, uh, the strap here uh, WeSpot has uh, mounted uh, a small uh, plastic holder for the hose uh, on each side. This uh, holder can turn 360 degrees so you can uh, decide where to, um, to put your hose. That is a really nice uh, small detail. And then we're ending up down here in the quick release buckle. This is a uh, ITW Nexus a Duraflex type so it is really durable and it has the, the right sound for me at least. And the webbing is uh, sewn um, uh, all the way down here on the, on the bottom uh, to, the, uh, to the backpack. Looking down here in the bottom there is uh, two uh, small buckles where you can attach your own uh, waist strap um, if uh, you want to use that. Me personally I don't use waist straps normally on, on packs uh, which uh, has a lesser uh, volume than 30-35 liters. Um, it's an individual thing so if you want to use uh, waist straps do it by all means. Um, for me it doesn't work. I need a, a bigger pack to, to use a waist strap. Looking uh, on the side of the pack uh, there is uh, six rows of uh, pulse webbing. Again where you can mount different types of uh, molly compatible uh, pouches. There are two uh, compression straps on each side um, which has really long uh, webbing. Again this is like a, 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 one of the trademarks of, uh, of the Wii Sport packs, uh, at least the one I've seen, uh, the long webbing uh, straps here. Um, on the other side you can see I just mounted a, a, a baby bag from Corinthia, the Explore 2 Plus. What I really like uh, about these, uh, all this webbing and buckles is that well, you can attach a lot of things to your pack. You can uh, make the pack look like exactly like you want it. You can even attach the pack to other packs, um, so you can do like piggybacking. Um, or if you are a gentleman and want to carry your uh, wife's pack, you can just attach it on the outside using the compression straps. Um, and uh, if uh, if you don't like the, the long straps uh, and all the buckles, there is nothing in the world who uh, prevents you from cutting them off. Just remember when you cut the, the straps or the buckles off, uh, it will start to get a little bit hard to if, if you want to attach something extra now. Um, so for me it works, for some, um, some other people it doesn't work, but again that's uh, individual. But uh, let's uh, look uh, on the different pouches here, or the different pockets. have a small pocket here on the front. Again, a really nice uh, uh, zipper. This is meant for papers and uh, maybe small snacks and stuff. The uh, next pocket is uh, one of the main compartments. You can open this uh, halfway. Here I have a uh, pouch from um, a Tasmanian Tiger with my uh, small uh, survival kit in. In here we have a uh, a sleeve here in the back of the pocket. Then we have uh, these two uh, straps here, webbing, one with a D-ring and the other one with a uh, carabine on, so you can attach different things. Then we have a zippered pocket with uh, mesh, where you can put uh, different stuff, and then you have the, uh, the pocket itself. And now ending up in the uh, main compartment, the largest compartment. This one can open fully like a clamshell type of bag. And here on the lid there is again a big zippered pocket. Here I just have my, uh, my folding saw. 
And just to give you an idea of uh, what can be in the pack, um, I put a lot of these uh, small uh, uh, packing cubes from Eagle Creek, a couple of the quarter cubes uh, packed to the gills, a couple of uh, half tubes, again uh, totally packed to the gills. Then I have my uh, Climate Static V uh, sleeping pad. I have my uh, Jetball Minimo. And I have my uh, Silk Sleeper from uh, Life Venture. And then here in the back we have a larger sleeve which has an elastic band uh, for the drinking system or something else you want to uh, dump in here. Uh, there is a small uh, piece of uh, whipping here to, to hold your, uh, your drinking system. This is a 3 litre Camelback. So this uh, uh, Sparrow 20 holds uh, 3 litres, at least 3 litres. And then the hose just uh, goes out here in the top of uh, the main compartment. My own experiences with this pack is that I've been using this as a day pack um, and also a travel bag. Um, as a day pack, uh, I think maybe one, uh, maybe two nights out. Um, then it's, it's good, it is only 20 litres. Um, Anything above uh, more than two days, uh, unless maybe stretching it. Um, but I really like it. Um, the uh, the uh, I think almost the only negative thing I has is uh, is this uh, small opening here with the drinking tube, and it sometimes uh, goes up, uh, and then water has a uh, has access to the main compartment. Um, I think that's the only thing that I actually noticed about this bag. What I really like is uh, all the buckles, all the uh, the long. Uh, webbing straps so you can adjust uh, everything on it. Uh, you can compress it down to almost nothing. Uh, you have all the uh, the pulse webbing on the front, on the side, on the bottom. A lot of attachment points for your extra gear. Um, and uh, even if, if you cannot adjust the, uh, the carrying system uh, as much as you can with the other and larger packs, well then because of the, uh, the way that the carrying system is, is, is made and forming uh, on your shoulders, um, I really think it's, uh, it's quality and, um, and it's, it's really well made so, um, so you don't feel the weight uh, when you're carrying this, uh, this pack. That's all I had to say about the uh, Sparrow 20 from Wii Sport. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.